Welcome to the Verbal Roundtable. This short video will outline the basic steps of discussion activity. Now, there are a few goals in the Verbal Roundtable. The first is to create an inclusive space for everyone in the class to openly share their own unique perspectives. We're gonna be actually speaking and listening to each other and learn to build on, challenge, and question each other's ideas in a respectful and constructive manner. Next, we wanna to try to get everyone to participate. Now, the loudest voice in the room isn't the only voice in the room, and the quietest among us might have the most unique insights. So when everyone contributes, there are more ideas for us to think about, and everyone benefits from hearing those new perspectives. So if you find yourself contributing a little too much, think about how you can invite others to participate. And if you're afraid or unwilling to speak, remember that you are capable of producing amazing ideas and your voice deserves to be heard. Lastly, deeper understanding is our top priority. In the verbal roundtable, it isn't always about right or wrong. Just like in life, the truth is almost always somewhere in between. And it's our job to work together to try to get closer to the truth. And remember that it's okay to change our minds. First, click the magic link your teacher has given you or enter the code on parlayideas.com. Your teacher might also have already invited you so you can just log in. And then click on Google or Microsoft and choose your school account. See the guiding questions and resources on the left-hand side of your screen in the prompt. Before the discussion starts and during the discussion, you could take down some notes your thoughts or ideas about what you'd like to say on your notepad. Your teacher can see these notes, so you can still get credit for your ideas even if you don't get the chance to actually share them out loud. If you'd like to speak up and contribute to the discussion, click one of these four buttons to tap in. You can also type a small text description about what your idea is or who you are gonna be responding to. Your icon will now appear in the middle so everyone knows that you'd like to speak up. You can press the ear icon to vote for other people. The teacher or the assigned student moderator will be able to add students to the speaker position or to the queue to indicate which students are up next to speak. When it's your turn to speak, you will be in the speaker position. After you've finished, simply click tap out to finish your turn. It might be a little awkward the first time around, but stick with it and you'll get the hang of it soon. At the end of the discussion, click the summary tab to see a breakdown of engagement analytics, like the participation rate, total time spent speaking, and a breakdown of the different tap-in types. Take a moment to think about if you'd like to speak up more in the next discussion, or if you'd like to encourage others and leave more space for them to speak up. After the discussion is over, your teacher might give you feedback and provide assessment points based on your contributions to the discussion. This can be found below your student notepad in My Assessment and Feedback. You can also click into your student reports in the top right corner to see a summary of the discussions you've participated in across time and how you're progressing on your skills. That's a wrap. You can always find this video in the eye icon in the top right hand corner of your screen. Good luck, have fun, and stay curious. Mm -hmm.